All right, so what is the deal with Backrooms Level Fun Plus? Is it real? What does it look like? Who created it? And what's this giant purple blue party goer thing? Yeah, there are a lot of questions, and don't worry because I am here to answer them all. Hey guys, it's Brookly, and in this video, I'm gonna be explaining the fan made level called Level Fun Plus, the dangerous sub level of Level Fun. Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn if you please, and let's get into it, shall we? Level Fun Plus is a backroom sublevel created by the YouTuber known as the Backrooms Archive. So this person does shorts about backrooms lore and a few long form videos as well. Most of the lore is not from any of the wikis that I go over like the Fandom Wiki or the Wikidoth or any of the other ones. It's pretty much all fan made, but that's beside the point. This Level Fun Plus is a sublevel of the famous Backrooms Level Fun, which is of course the home of the party or entity. Now, as you know, in the lore that I normally use, level fun and the party goers are gone. But for this video and the sake of it, we're going to be talking about a fan made level. So anything goes. Level Fun Plus is located somewhere deep inside its parent level, Level Fun, and it's said to be much more dangerous than that main level. Physically, it looks like a large, open, indoor play place area with trampolines, inflatables, ball pits, foam pits, and weird building structures that kind of look like they're out of a carnival. You know what I'm talking about. The sublevel has been described as rather open concept and sprawling, which is actually pretty different from the typical tighter hallways of level fun. And this area also seems to possess many more enigmatic factors like non-Euclidean geometry, strange time warping effects, and, and so on. We'll get into all of them in a second. When you find yourself inside the level, you'll be subjected to acute deja vu, meaning that everything here in the level will seem familiar and you'll feel like you've been here before or that you've seen it before somehow. You know, these slides, these ball pits, these trampolines, all of them feel as if they're taken right directly out of your memories. Like someone took your brain, drug the memories of childhood out, put them here, that's what you see. Now this deja vu poses another problem that you might not think of because it actually makes wanderers feel at ease and comfortable. You'll feel like you're at home because your surroundings seem like they're safe. I mean, to you, it just seems like it's your memories. The slides that are all over the level have also been known to have a few strange quirks. The main one being that they can shift, change, and warp at any given time. And they always change when each wanderer gets on them. So one person will get on them and they'll take the appearance of a slide from that person's memory. And then if another person gets on them, they'll take an appearance from a slide from that person's memory. Yes, it's all very confusing, but you get what I'm saying. But because of this, this will trick people into thinking these slides are actually safe, when in reality, obviously they're not safe. They're not. <laughs> so I just talked about the slides a little bit. I want to talk about the ball pits now, because the ball pits here give off extremely unsettling vibes and are often surrounded with darkness themselves. And sometimes these ball pits in Level Fun Plus are perfectly aligned, each ball stacked on top of each other to where it just looks like one giant ball pit cube and it just depends on where you're at the level. But if you do see this, it's not a good sign because that probably means the entity here is near you. But again, it's just another weird quirk of the level. Now, on that same sentiment, it is not recommended to slide down a slide into a ball pit either, because weird things like to hide in ball pits in the back rooms, and we just have to assume that those things hide in this level as well. See my video on that in the description below. It's got a bunch of views. You might have seen it. I don't know. Anyways, there's something probably in the ball pits. Moving along to the trampolines here, these are pretty normal compared to all the other crazy stuff. They seem to be plain and just look like normal ones and work like normal ones from real life. Nothing crazy to see in these spots. I mean, I don't think there is. So I'm sure you're aware that this level is home to a level specific creature known as the party creator. Now the creature that runs and cultivates this sub level is not to be trifled with. Like it's crazy. And let me explain what it's all about right now. So the party creators are another type of party goer, but they have some striking differences as well. For one, they have a bluish purplish hue to them, which is different because the other party goers are yellow. 
They also appear to be much bigger than the normal one. And some reports have these things being at twice the size. It just depends. They also have a grotesque red smile carved into their faces, and they have these red spots dabbled all over their skin and body. I think you can guess what these red spots are. I can't say it, or YouTube will slap me in the face, but you know what they are. Anyways, the party creators almost seem to be a godlike being to the regular party goers. They possess non-Euclidean abilities that most entities just don't have. They're, they don't have access to them. An example of this is the ability to create parts of levels and change the layout of them at a whim. These things can seemingly do that. They seem to also be in control of the partygoers in a way, and according to the Backroom's archive, they exist on a higher level of sentience and existence than other partygoers do. So when a wanderer finds themselves trapped in level fun plus, the party creators will just play with their food. The wanderer is the food, of course. And after the wanderer, you know, thinks they're safe since the level looks all nostalgic and like your memories, you think you're just chilling, the party creators will then chase them around, seemingly for no reason other than just to get a kick out of it. You can try to hide inside the slides or ball pits or trampolines or buildings. None of it works. These things will find you, I promise. Now, I'm sure you're wondering where party creators come from, and the answer is actually pretty unique, but pretty simple. They are evolved versions of the partygoer entity, and after a partygoer stays inside level fun for long enough and consumes a wanderer, they will then themselves be promoted to being a party creator. So it's kind of like a hierarchy system. No one knows what happens if you can somehow manage to destroy or eliminate a party creator, but some people theorize that you can turn them back into a party goer or that they'll disappear to the void and some people even believe that you can escape the back rooms if you do that all of these theories of course are just theories because no one has made it out of the level to tell the tale <laughs> we, just, we don't know To enter level fun plus, you have to wander really deep into level fun until a party creator just gets annoyed that you haven't been consumed yet, then they'll just literally drag you to their sub-level to hunt you themselves, which is crazy. To exit, you can't. Sorry, there's no way out. But seriously, no one knows how everyone that gets dragged into the sub-level has never been seen again. So the leading theory is that you have to let yourself be consumed by a party creator and it'll somehow let you out or it might not. That sounds insane. I don't know. But yeah, to summarize, Level Fun Plus is a sub-level deep inside of Level Fun where deja vu, nostalgia, weird environments, strange ball pits, strange party creator entities come together to try to mentally break you down and then consume you. It's that simple. It's honestly not the worst fan-made level that I've seen. Seriously, I think it's pretty unique. Go check out the Backrooms archive for the original media and go check out the footage used in this video as well. Both of them are fantastic. Thank you all so much for doing that. I think the community really likes this level, so maybe it'll be added to a wiki one of these days soon enough. Who knows? But I'm really glad that they added some unique twists like deja vu and the slides moving around and some of the features on how party creators are made. You know, just little things like that make it better than just being a copy of level fun just for clicks. I, th I, th I think it was great. I think it turned out well. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Also, while you're down there, sub to Toogly and Spoogly for more top tier content. Anyways, thank you all so much. That's it for the outro. I love you. See, see you later.